Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Doc and Queenie Facebook Live every Monday at high noon. <laughs> uh oh, what happened to that soprano there, Queenie? I are know. Too, are you too cold? Oh my gosh, I oh, I'm serious. What is the temperature right now? I don't think I even want to know. Don't. Uh, well, I'm I'm 10, 10 miles, ten minutes south of you. Yeah. Now my temperature gauge thing is spin, spin, spin. So it's yeah. not going to cooperate. <laughs> it is a blustery. Uh huh. Can you guess? I just made the mistake of looking at mine. Thirty five degrees feels like twenty six, and I'm yeah. like, I oh. I just laugh. Feels like twenty six. Well, I'm not sure. It feels like it might be twenty eight. I'm well, not. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah. This is October 30th, right? I think so. Okay. Well, I don't understand how it's this cold, but I'm telling you what, every time somebody from the Caribbean calls and she's, you know, they're in little tank tops and all this stuff. And I'm going, I am frozen solid to my desk. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she goes, what? what, what is the temperature? And they speak um, Celsius. And so you tell them whatever it is and they go, that's not so bad. And I look it up and then heck no, it's 80 for them. And so they, they think I'm just a, a freezing nut. And I, it, oh my gosh, Caribbean, doesn't that sound glorious right now? Yeah. I, I just heard from a friend and they're in Barbados. I'm yeah, like, I know. I know. Seriously. Shut up. Yeah. We've got a good set of friends, doc. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not good enough because they didn't invite us with yeah, them. They didn't take us with them. That's for sure. I'm, oh my I'm God. sure that would go over well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't mind me. I, I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Not bad. So, so yes, it's it's freezing, and then of course we're well. We aren't. Um, maybe the uh, Chiefs players might be licking their wounds from that horrible, horrendous loss. I thought it was um, honestly the very best lesson in the world, and I hope that even teachers, instructors, professors today, not to mention team leaders and networking partners and all that stuff, use it today as a huge uh, topic. Because what is my word for 2023? Thank you, Karen Hagens. Succession. I've been talking about it forever. And uh, I thought yesterday was a beautiful example. We have a veteran person in the wings in case something happens to 15 and I felt horrible for him to look as bad as he did um, sick wise. And then I felt super bad. In fact, I was going to ask this question too. Um, I don't want to put you on the uh, hot seat doc, but anybody out there know the name of the backup quarterback, one of the backup quarterbacks for the Kansas city chiefs. So Chris Katz, was super sweet. He's one of the Channel 9 broadcasters. And on TikTok, no, on, pardon me, Twitter, he actually said, I didn't know how to tell her he's retired because his wife during the ga game said, put Henny in. Uh, we need to get Mahomes uh, feeling better and all that stuff. This is not, it's not his fault. He, he's sick. And he said, I didn't have the heart to tell her Henny retired, punkin. <laughs> So I thought, isn't that interesting that we don't even know this, the name of our second string? So his name is Blaine Gabbert. He is a veteran quarterback. And wouldn't you think, now I imagine they're waiting for Mahomes' ankle, that that's usually what they're thinking, or if he gets hurt on the field kind of thing. But I thought to myself at that time, he's, he's waiting, like, please put me in coach kind of thing. And this is a great opportunity, I would think. Put me in, coach. Uh, our, our QB is not feeling well at all. And they kept saying they were loading him full of IV. Oh, doesn't that whole thing sound just gruesome and awful? Now you're outside freezing cold in the snow, having to perform at top speed. And how come they didn't put the veteran in? Even if the veteran had not done well, at least he was healthy and ready to go. I just think making, forcing, allowing someone to work so hard when they are not well, I think that was a, just a rough thing. But succession plan, who's your person that will take over when you can't speak or move or talk or whatever you're doing? Who is going to be your trainer person? Who's going to be your run the household person? Who's going to be your succession plan on the board? And 
the person in the wings is going, put me in coach. Boom. Let me get this done while he's unavailable. And he didn't get that chance. So are you second string something waiting for that opportunity? And are you the coach in charge of deciding when the waiting doesn't happen? And I, I just really did. I looked at that and I thought this is a heck of a message and I just, I really did. I, it was a very impactful game for me that way. Obviously, I'd rather have a win because all my friends across the country are texting me going, oops. And then they sent me a, um, a picture of a thermometer that he wasn't doing well. I appreciate friends from across the country, but I really did. I thought, he's not feeling well. How would you like to be out there doing that? I can't even go get the mail when I don't feel well. It's too cold. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> That was a you little know, hired, you uh, cut me cool. off. You, you, you cut me. <laughs> well, and you know, and you know the um, an, another lesson out of that, or or maybe it's reflection on how um, our culture is sometimes, at least in the business world, or I may, or maybe across the board, they kept trying all of these different things, and there were still turnovers and interceptions, and and it was just like they just kept. They, they they kept trying their scenario and nothing worked. And like you said, at what point do you put that backup quarterback? You know, um, where, you know where was the punch and pivot? One? We have huh? three. Yeah. Okay. The other one's name is Chris Oladokun, or however you say that. So we've got Patrick Mahomes, Blaine Gabbert, and Chris Oladokun. Again, however you say that, I apologize. And so... I just really did. How would you like to be the second person and the first person is unavailable um, on a cruise, whatever that looks like. And, and you didn't get your shot. And I really did. I just, I just thought that was a huge message. So you think I'm on succession now? I'm telling you what, this is going to be uh -oh. a week when we are going to talk about succession in every group <laughs> I'm in by golly. Watch out everybody. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> Debbie Miller said it's too, it's it's not a, it's too cold today for the mail, even if you aren't sick. Oh, yeah, I know. Sir. I agree with you, Deb. Good job. Yeah, I think I'll just hire it. That's right across the street for heaven's sakes, 10 steps. But oh, my gosh. And as soon as as like 35 degrees, OK, feels like 26. No. And then Debbie actually said she's going somewhere uh, warm where the temperature is her age. <laughs> Oh, and of course I'm thinking 27. So I kind of got my wish, but oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Karen Hagen, speaking of national day of calendar lady. And, and, word and my of the year. Card. I know she's, she's got my word of the year and I, I love having that all over the place. And I do have my 2024 word ready to go. You know, Queenie. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know. I make everybody else nuts too. It's not just you. I know. Happy, happy candy corn day. I saw you made a pill. Oh, thank you, you so much. Do yeah. you like candy corn? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure the Brock's people or whoever makes that stuff now is going well. And so I'm sure it's lovely, but it's not a good fit for me personally. But that was what Jib Jab had that was not skeletons. I, I, I like I said I glanced. I'm afraid. So you said jib jab. Or is it the candy corn five this year? No, I didn't. No, because they don't do that. We have to be. Um, what is that called? Uh, horror characters, and I didn't want to do that with our Fab Five. So um, they they don't have a cutesy little pumpkin dancing kind of thing, pumpkin. And so I didn't <laughs> want to do that. So uh, that's that's how you just got me with the solo. Uh, candy corn. So thing. maybe we could make our own video. I know. Trust me. I thought of that. Everybody in Kansas City. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll oh, dress up. We're like, going to get kicked off. I think they just canceled our live. Yeah, they probably did. Bye-bye. We'll, we'll dress up like candy corns and we'll dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do it over at Karen's house. She's always got super fun decorations. And we heard that's the party house. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> She's got it going on over there. So speaking of the National Day of, of course, it's Candy Corn National Day of, and and I'm looking at um, the- Is it seriously National Candy Corn Day? I didn't do it for yes. that reason. Oh yeah, my I gosh. Yeah, I that's why you did Funny. that. No, yes. I just did it because of something Halloween-esque, and I don't do Halloween that way, so I just thought, well, okay. And like I say, it was better than skeleton stuff. 
Yes. Yeah. I, I don't like uh, the rest in peace, the graveyard. Right. I know. No, I don't either. Uh, yes. Happy uh, National Candy Corn Day. And it's also treat your pet. I don't know. Treat your pet to what? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say yours gets spa day and then yours gets not anymore. Uh, raw food and all the spotty dog. Yeah. And I'm going, oh my gosh, treat your pet to what? <laughs> well, and my daughter found this, um, this, uh, pet bakery thing out in Lawrence. So she's bringing cookies for the dog. Um, and, if, and if anybody uh, goes on my YouTube channel, you can see the uh, Swifty cookie that the dog. Oh got. my gosh, dog. I know. <laughs> but my dog, disclaimer, my dog does not like to be videoed or she's camera shy. <laughs> She, I, it oh takes God, only in your house, honey. Only in your house. It, it takes a lot to get a picture. There's a picture, you know, that we used a couple of years ago where she's sitting in the middle of the yard and she's, she looks very, you know, very stately and very prissy. She looks very, I had to sneak it. very I had to, Yes, I had to sneak the picture because as soon as I take my camera out to try to take a picture, she puts her head down and she runs away. And you're like, <laughs> wow. So, Happy treat your pet day. <laughs> then tomorrow, of course, is uh, Halloween and it's caramel apple day. Do you like caramel apples? Mm, we have yeah, got to get one that's closer to me. Uh uh. Even if it's a Granny Smith? Mm, that I, I just can't even is imagine. Is it the caramel sticking to the roof I of your just, mouth? That's your what teeth? I was going to say. I just can't imagine the procedure. Um, you know, just die. It's just, it's kind of like cupcakes. They're just messy. It's not, it's not a good fit for me. Well, they're, st they're sticky. Yeah. yeah. You know, cupcakes, you get a frosting mustache. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, shout out to you, me, and anybody else at Diva. I'm trying to think of who else has written it. It is Authors Day. Oh, wow. Well, that's super fun. Okay, good. I love knowing that. I actually I'm gonna write that down. That's excellent. It's also a uh, national brush day. And I don't know, they showed a picture of toothbrush. It didn't say toothbrush, but it's national brush day. Uh, brush your teeth. Yeah. Just brush your teeth in the first. Uh, so you only have to brush your teeth once a year. I, you know, I, I would be afraid to see what would happen on that one. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I am a dentist's daughter. So yeah, just, there you go. Yeah. Three or four <laughs> times a day, whether you need it or not. Right. Yes. And, and it's also cinnamon day. Which mm -hmm. I love cinnamon. I know I you like it. cinnamon too. I do. You? Yes. I I love cinnamon in my coffee and my mushroom coffee. It's in my mushroom coffee. It's uh yeah, and you put it in your coffee, don't you? I put it on anything that needs anything. Cinnamon is my go-to. I love it. And it's very good. It's good for your blood sugar. It's a regulator. Yeah, I just it just I just love cinnamon. A little sprinkle on something. Yeah, absolutely. Thursday is deviled eggs. Do you like deviled eggs? Mm, uh, I keep trying to find something for you, Queenie. People put, I know people put that, um, uh, sweet, uh, sweet oh. pickle relish and deviled pickle eggs. Relish. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. That's not a good fit for me. If they do the dill egg stuff, I can go that direction. But, um, I, yeah, I, I suppose I could do deviled eggs if they don't put sweet stuff in it. Yeah. I usually put the dill, I put dill yeah. pickles. Yes. Yeah, and can do that. Yeah. Yeah. top. Of course, mm -hmm. for the color only, because paprika, <laughs> basically, unless it's smoked, doesn't have a flavor. Yeah, I know. And it's also, here's a weird one, Traffic Director's Day. Hmm. Well, we certainly need them, I can tell you. In fact, probably on my street, we could use a couple. So please send them a message for me, could you? I will. I'll let Overland Park now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Friday rounds off the week with Jellyfish Day. I don't oh. like to be anywhere near anything like that um and give someone a dollar a day <laughs> wow not worth anything but here you go <laughs> there you go huh now i will tell you give someone a dollar day for all of my superstar friends that were joining us every single friday at business roundtable one time i said to the table we had probably 20 ish let's see 15 probably 15 or 20 people uh, at that event every friday it was a great group. I loved it. And I said, when we went around the room, tell us what you need. That's all I said. Tell us what you need. 
And so we get to this one gentleman, I'll never forget him or the topic. And he said, I need more money. So I thought, all right. I took out my valise where I kept all my stuff. I took out my valise and handed him a dollar. And he looks and he goes, what are we doing? And I said, you need more money. This is more than you had a second ago. We're done, right? You're good. And he goes, well, heck no. A dollar's not going to do anything for me. And I said, well, quite frankly, that's what you said you needed is more money. I gave you more money. So your need has been met, right? And so the topic, of course, was be specific. And he, he, the, the message was clear. I don't know how many of our business roundtable folks remember that, but the message was clear. Be specific. I need $10,000 by tomorrow. I need to make my second million in 2023. Whatever that looks like, be specific. Because if you say, Lord, I need more money and he sends you a dollar, the Lord's done, right? You got what you wanted. And so give someone a dollar day. That's exactly what sparked in my head. Wow. Yep. Be specific. Be specific. Saturday, here's your favorite again, candy day. Oh, my gosh. And chicken lady day. I got to know what is a chicken lady. I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea. I, I was thought that was just me. I just was like, seriously? And then Sunday to start next week is um, happy hour day. <laughs> Go drinking and get outdoors week. <laughs> I don't think we're getting outdoors. Oh, well, I, I, I was just, just going to say, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to be like Debbie. I'm going to go outside the next time the weather hits my age. So I'll see you guys in oh, August. Dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I know. I'll see you guys in August. This is not a good fit for me. 26. Oh. Yeah, this is January weather for Kansas City. This is well, January weather. Like me. I know. And that's why I say I'm just such a big baby anyway. And cold makes it colder. So, but honestly, I love the national day of, and I really did the candy corn thing. Like I say, accidentally, that's hysterical. And uh, I really seriously love that uh, and think about this too it's national candy day on saturday why because you did your trick-or-treat during the week and so you're sneaking the candy from your kids baskets or buckets <laughs> or whatever yeah. they do these days and i look at that and i just go oh my gosh so now we're going to eat candy and then you drink on a sunday for heaven's sakes i that's just a funny thing to me i think monday will be buy from high sugar day yes. yeah <laughs> yeah oh my gosh happy carb loading day oh my yeah. goodness <laughs> now, in my family with uh, growing up, we used to, uh, after we would do our Halloween uh, thing, we would all dump out our candy and we'd trade. Oh, wow. So that was an interesting thing. Now, do you feel, looking back, that your parents didn't pilfer? Um, I don't think so. Okay, because my mother was notorious and picky. OMG, that lady, I'm telling you what. And uh, but honestly, she knew where everybody kept their stash of everything, of course, like you're hiding it from your mom. Good try. And so she would pilfer and she would do a couple from this kid and a couple from that kid and all that stuff. And so then you'd never kind of know. And especially if there were multiples of something. And then, of course, Except as we for you, know, because you counted and you're like, oh, I had that's what I was just going to say. It's not sick. like my my brain is an abacus. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I went that direction. But, yeah, the other kids are kind of going, I wonder what happened to that. Mother goes, honey, maybe you just never had it. And so she's kind of chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, but I, I think about that stuff. So that's why I wondered if your parents pilfered. No, no, but you know, I've, I, my, my siblings and I have talked about it, you know, how, how ironic is a dentist's family eating Captain Crunch and all the sugary. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> keeping them in business for heaven's sakes. Oh my gosh. You know, we didn't, we didn't, my mother did not hold back on all of the, the stuff, pop tarts and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, seriously. Oh, I thought you were teasing. I didn't know. No, you could like no, we, okay. we would have, you know, I remember we went through a waffle phase, a pop tart phase. A, oh, you know, I really did. I thought you were kidding. Was like okay. the worst I'm cereal that you eat like that. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and I had braces in fifth grade, so I, you're not supposed to chew gum or eat it. I was doing all that too. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> 
Oh, this feels like confession day on Doc and Queenie. Confession Monday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. So, uh, what's our word of the day, Queenie? Do we? Uh, I would love to see our word of the day. Wheel that might spin for our word of the day. Let's see. All right. So, these are topics. Let's see if this wheel is going to be cooperative. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to shuffle five times. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have to do six times because my number's five and your number seven. All right. Doc and Queenie word for today. Please be succession. Please be succession. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. This is almost even better. Sponsive. All right. <laughs> Responsive. Take it away, Doc. Oh, I thought I could flip it onto you, but okay. I will take <laughs> it away. Responsive. Well, um, what I find interesting in the business world, when we talk about the word responsive, um, unfortunately, there's a lot of lack of responsiveness, uh, follow through, I guess you could say resp that's a response. Um, if you connect with somebody, uh, and it's, it's not what you think it's going to be, do you actually still follow through? Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a stickler and I'm sidetracking slightly here. When my kids were growing up, I'm a stickler for manners. Thank you, please that kind of thing. And I put that into my, you know, how I treat people. It's, you know, it's that, how do you want to be treated? And do you, do you actually respond to somebody if somebody reaches out hmm. business wise, do you actually, regardless of whether it's a transaction or not, or uh, if somebody reaches out or there's communication on, do you respond? I mean, you know, I've, I've had, uh, People that, well, A, I, I get a lot of swoopers. Yep. I will respond to them. No, thank you. Now, after that point, if you keep pushing me, then there's comes a point where I will not respond. <laughs> you know, because it's like, figure it out, pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not buying your stuff. But, you know, re responsive, that's an interesting word. I'm trying to, what, what what's your take on it? Maybe I'll bounce off of it. Responsive for me is um, if someone reaches out, the responsive piece for me is where did the question come from? And I feel, and this happened recently. So I, uh, I use examples for efficacy. Yes. But also as like making a point this person, and I actually don't remember where we met uh, to be a million percent honest. So that tells you right off the bat, we didn't have that first impression moment thing. And so she reaches out to me and she goes, I'm a coach and I can help you. And so I looked and I thought, where on earth did I know her from? We were on LinkedIn connected. Yes. And I thought, where on earth did we meet? And so I, I was kind of watching because, of course, it felt like a swooper to me, of course. Uh, swoop in, barf your business and leave. For those of you who are new with us today, that's what we coined the term as a swooper. And so I waited a couple weeks thinking she'd disappear. Here, here she comes again. I told you I can help you. I'm a coach and I have a class and a webinar and a this and a that. Um, please respond or please react or please something. And I thought, gosh, that is just not usually how people talk to me. Anxious. And yeah. I just thought, yeah, she did it five times. And I counted Ooh. because I wanted to see if it was a system. And it felt like it was a timed system in her thing. And then she sends me a message and says, just to let you know, this is our last chat. And how do you have a chat one-sided was my next question. And uh, I have not heard from her yet. And she was doing the, you're lost there, sister kind of attitude. So the responsive part for me was not giving her a response because I was feeding into her. I do relationships first. If the relationship doesn't happen, then probably the transaction won't happen. And I, it's just not a good fit for me. But responsive to me is certainly accepting people where they are. But I always kind of, I want to see where the question came from. Yes. And, and I was going to say your story kind of, you know, I, I, I said, I respond to, but there are times where I won't. And I had yes. something kind of similar about a month or two ago. Hi, how are you? And I, and I'm like, you're not on my friends list. I don't know. Right. You. Yeah, I know. 
I'm, I'm fine. I, and I, and I've learned the, hi, how are you? How's your day going? And then they just, but you know, I'm selling this or this or this. So I kind of ignored it. A couple of weeks later, how's everything going? I'm like, I still don't know you. You're not on my friends list. And then they started getting mad. Well, this yeah, is oh, I love that. That you're not responding. Like, yeah. Do I know you? Yeah. Thanks a lot for reaching out. I really appreciate it. And then, yeah. of course, my favorite is you are so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you the are. guy, the guys that always post on our, our oh, post. Oh, I mean to tell you, are so. I beautiful. just want to meet you. Will you friend me? Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and I I look at that and I seriously go, oh my gosh, get a job. And it, it's just it's just the most amazing thing to me. And but it really is back to the responsiveness thing. If it feels weird, okay, then probably you maybe that's not a good fit. And so responsive to me is um, being attentive to people's needs. Absolutely. But I do, uh, I, I listen for the question and how are you today? Laura probably is not going to be someone that you have met a million times before. Yeah. No. And there's a government program that I will be able to retire with millions that <laughs> I, how are you? I've had it happen six, seven, eight times. And I'm mm. just like, no. So are you part of the government program so you can retire with millions right now? I keep telling them, no, it's a scam. Okay. No, it's not a scam. <laughs> don't you want to get rich? Uh, First of all, don't you love that they assume that you're not? Right. That's always my biggest. And that, that takes me back to that guy that literally said, I can help you make a million dollars. And of course, all my friends are listening to this barfing thing. And so I sat back and I didn't speak and you can kind of feel like I, they, they, their faces are turning red and they go, she's going to blow. She's going to blow. She's going to blow. And so I said, really? And he's like, yeah. And he's like getting all geared up for this. And I said, you're too late. <laughs> yeah. And so, and seriously, I can help you make your first million. That was his thing. And I'm doing the math. I've been in business this long, pal. And so it would be one thing to say it to an 18 year old, but for the love of heaven, an established business person. And that's all I said. So you could kind of see everybody in the room went, <laughs> she got him. And so it was just one of those things. And I just thought, why do people still do that and think they're going to make a relationship happen? Well, and, 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 you know, is there desperation behind what they're doing? Um, it, it does feel that way, doesn't it? And is there business tanking and, you know, yeah. all of those questions. Yeah, it does. It does feel like that. So interesting word of the day. So now we get to go over to our little social media. Slash see what the topic is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shuffle one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's see what the topic is. Boom, boom. Oh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. It, looks like it's be. <laughs> it really is that. We're going to have to remove that one because that's happening. <laughs> Okay. Do it again. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yay. Ta -da! <laughs> All right. Now I'm happy. <laughs> ah, Queenie, what do you think about that? Oh, we'll flip it back to you. I know. Seriously. <laughs> um, and th that just like I was mentioning with how are you today, Laura, that is a whole different. Um, Laura who? Yeah, I know a whole different communique than it would be. What's up, doc? And of course, I love to say what's up, doc. But the yes, bigger sure. issue okay. is um, you can tell when people have repartee, just like I've told you when I've been out in the world before. They'll say, I see who doc is, but what is this Queenie thing? And I tell them how doc and Queenie was born. And they were like, oh, my gosh, that's the coolest thing. So with you and the doc piece, I started calling you doc the second you walked into No Excuses when I found out you were a, a naturopath. And so um, for you, have you been doc before you're naturopathy? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. It was a long road to doctum. And yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. I got to look that up. Doctor. Okay. I don't even know if it's, I don't even know how to spell that. I know you, you know, I'm a word person. So I got to look up doctum. <laughs> no, um, no, I was not, but, um, my father was a dentist. So there was doctor. He was the first doctor in the family and I was the okay. second. Okay. So, so, but yes, um, 
<laughs> what, what, I but I was just wondering uh, with the RevDoc 7 and all of the different uh, tags that you have on your pages and your Mighty Morning Moment and the doctor piece and all of the, <laughs> thank you, Debbie. She's so good at that. Doctum. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Universe. Uh, I know, seriously, she's so good at that. But it really is one of those things. First of all, hello, you've earned it. And second of all, it, it really filters into everything you do. Yeah. You have said before that you pray over your garden. You have to do holistic, everything organic, including the water that you're putting on your veggies, uh, your produce, because it's now going to go into your body. It takes you back to the naturopath doctor part. Everything you do is related. Yeah, I you know it's all about food. That's the name of my podcast. But it is, yeah. And, and food nourishes the body. It also can heal the body. Um, we need it to live. Yeah, and, and it's also soul, body, spirit. It's also your mindset, um, spirit, who you're connected to. Um, and actually, I was listening. I listened to a lot of financial stuff in the morning, and there was this one guy this morning actually that was talking about frequencies. And he was talking about silver and gold and he held up a silver coin. He's like, there's a frequency in this. And then he started talking about it. It's, it's God's currency. There's frequency. There's frequencies in our positivity or our negativity. And of course that gets reabsorbed. Whatever comes out your mouth, your ears here, and it goes back into your body. You know, it, it's really um, all of that. It's all about food, mindset, uh, physical uh, how you take care of yourself that ties to your mindset and what you're putting in your mouth. So, yeah, I mean, a million percent. I appreciate the frequency. And I, I guess I never thought of just like you said, the coin has frequency. I had a, um, what is it called? A Reiki person, uh, a Reiki master come into my house. We met at a, a ladies luncheon and she said, um, is this Kongan water that you're talking about? And I said, Oh, absolutely. And she said, would it be okay if I uh, came over and saw your machine? Well, heck yeah, this is pre COVID of course. And so I had a lot of people in here all the time actually. And so um, anyway, she came over and super sweet, love her to death to this day and love her. And so, but I didn't know the Reiki stuff, of course um, it's energy, uh, energy healing or some, some modality like that. Anyhow, she comes over and she goes, is it okay if I get closer to your machine? And the way she was asking, it's almost like she um, walked toward it slowly, I guess you would say. So I said, yeah, would you like a drink of water? Oh, in a second. And so she gets closer and literally she's pushing her hands kind of like this. Whoa. And as she got closer to the unit, she, she kind of backed her hands off and she said, this is very powerful. And of course my brain is going, I use this all day long. I didn't ever know that. And so then of course I gave her the water. She was the only person that I have ever had. I poured all three levels of water. She held her hand over each one. And of course I mixed them up because I'm by golly going to be able to figure this out. I did all three levels of water. She put her hands over each of them. She identified highest to lowest on the ORP. Yep. And I thought, wow. And, and she did because I knew what I poured. She probably wouldn't have had any clue. And of course I mixed the glasses up because that's my brain. And she, she got every one of them right. So there must be frequency and water and molecules. There's and frequency there. and energy, you know, and we are energy beings, beings, not yeah. beings, B-E-A-N-E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there could be some people. Enunciate. Yeah. yeah like that. <laughs> um, in our energy field that comes off of our body you find this interesting, food for thought, can go out about six feet. Six feet. Yep. Well, 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 that's an interesting number, Doc. Yes, it is. Just a little fun little fact there. I know. <laughs> I know. So what are you going to learn today in Doc and Queenie? I'm telling you. Well, we learned that Saturday is candy day. So yeah, that's, all, that's all we needed. We're done for the week. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, and it looks like we're basically finished again. Oh my goodness. That, it always enough. flies. It always flies. It does for sure. So um, before we go, um, do you have any little tidbits of advice for this week for somebody that is watching, whether live or on the replay? 
<laughs> the best thing that I love so much is please put your information in the comment section of this video because we would love to connect with you, uh, like I say, watching now or on the replay, because that way everyone in our community can actually get to know each other. And I love that part. Yes. Ditto. <laughs> No, and, th and thank you. And please share our video. We, we love to build our community of faithful friends on purpose. Um, and we're having a blast with everybody and celebrating different things and just, you know, just networking and interacting, not swooping and, um, you know, uh, being nasty. So um, thank you, everyone, for joining us today on Doc and Queenie Facebook Live every Monday at Hi! Hi, <laughs> uh, we are here every Monday, every for Monday your <laughs> yeah, for, your, for our entertainment and your enjoyment. <laughs> Not exactly sure what that means. And I don't okay. want to go down that trail, I know. but we would love to have you back, whether it's live or on the replay and you can reach out to Queenie everywhere where I, blah, blah, I said that everywhere on social media, Kathy Weaver KC, or you can even go to her website kathyweaverskc.com. She has a new um, ebook out, myfinalfootprints.com, which you um, have to check out. I mean, it's it's necessary um, and it's really very thorough, like Queenie is. If you want to reach out to myself, Doc, I am Kitchen Garden Expert all over social media and kitchengardenexpert.com is my website. So until next week, everybody have a hopefully warmer week. Enjoy your week, and we'll catch you right back here in November, which is hard to believe, but it's here. Woo! Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you, Doc. Bye for now. Bye.